Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to my sad little farm once again. Today, we're out in Farmer's Life, and we're going to be doing probably not much farming because it's November right now, and winter is going to be upon us. I am merely prepping for that. I have some good ideas on where we could spend our money today, so I definitely want to get into that. But beforehand, a lot of you guys suggested, or some of you suggested, that I actually sell berries if you remember in the first episode, there was berries all throughout the wilderness. Well, the SAF will buy them, and according to you guys, at least, for a good price. Whoa! <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Anyways, I'm at the uh, the animal trader here, and uh, I want to actually work on relations here. If you remember, I can't buy the horse from him. A big goal of mine is to get a horse as well, so we're going to try and... Uh, Give him some old moonshine here. Actually, I can give him a bottle of vodka as well. I brought that with me. So there we go. And a gift of moonshine as well. What is up with all the ghosts? I don't I don't know the whole backstory of the army ghosts in this game. All right, but uh, I think we got to get all the way up to the blue. It looks like the moonshine does work really, really well. Can I actually give him more? Can I just... Oh, I can just keep giving, giving him it. Nice. Now, can I actually... Yes, I can buy a horse. It was that easy. I just needed a few bottles of whiskey. All right, so horses are not cheap in this game. We might go that route, but we might go the engine route as well. I just wanted to actually work on my relationships right now, so it's very hard to see right now. But we got the engine guy over here as well. I still have more moonshine. I could obviously sell it for a profit. Uh, but relationships are so important in this game. And yeah, like, for example, I can't buy the plow from this guy because my relationship's too low. So, uh, yeah. Do you want some moonshine as well? No, you don't like moonshine. Of course you don't. I do have vodka, though, so... There you go. There you go. There you go. So we'll have to get some more vodka for this guy, but... Did it actually unlock everything? I think it did. One of these was locked. Oh, not only that, it makes the prices cheaper, I just realized. Because that was 7000 I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we have everything unlocked. That's all that matters. Okay, so that's a good start. Again, it's going to be winter tomorrow, so I'm not going to spend all my money right now. But uh, we'll come back here after we survive the winter. Well, well, well. We got a new task. Visit Priest Matthew. I'm just sleeping throughout the night. <gasps> I just got an achievement. I don't want to spoil it. But I think we got something new out here besides the snow. There they are. Did I have twins? Welcome to my club, you little adorable pieces of bacon. Are you guys okay? Yeah, you're not hungry yet. Okay, so we have had our first piggies. Ah, oh, isn't life beautiful? All right, grow big and strong so I can have bacon. Thank you. All right, but if you don't know anything about this game, winter is seriously dangerous. You got to keep this place enclosed because if you do get sick, it's a pain in the butt to uh, heal yourself. So I'm not going to be doing too much out there throughout the winter. Uh, we're just going to bundle down like a bear and maybe work on the farm a little bit, assuming I don't get sick here. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. God damn it, I'm already cold. It's only day one. All I did was pick up poo and move some grass today, and I'm already freaking cold. I've been staying inside and trying to be so responsible. Am I supposed to close this door, maybe? I can't, I can't even close that. It's 9.51 in the morning, and I'm already sick. I hate winters in this game, dude. All you got to do is just sit over here and boil eggs, I guess. All right, I made the trek to town only because I need to make warming tea. I'm done trying to deal with the fire to uh, heal me. So to make warming tea, I need vodka and... Oh, God, that's so expensive. 140 for two. I also need sugar, which is also not cheap. So we'll buy some of that. That should be all I need, though, to get the warming tea. So that's good. I have a fight with the village drunk, of course. Do you have any warming tea on you today? You know what? A bottle of vodka is a good trade. Dude, this guy has so much good stuff on him. I'm never going to need tools again. And we got home without pneumonia, at least. So that's good. So now we should be able to make that tea and survive this winter. And not waste all my wood trying to have the wood stove burning all season. All right, so another problem. Uh, the mayor has shut off my power. Not that that's a big deal. I only have one light bulb right now, but uh, it is kind of annoying. So we got to go talk to him. I guess I was supposed to pay my bill. Didn't even know I had an electricity bill in this game. But yes, we have our warming tea now. We even got two more with us. So we should be fine to explore in the winter now. Uh, definitely, we got to make sure we have a big uh, stockpile of warming tea for these winter months because this is insane. All right, so yeah, I have to go. You can own every plot of land in this game, which is pretty cool. And you have to pay your bill, your fees in there. Okay, so paid off. It was cheap, thankfully. So that has been solved. 
Okay, working with the mayor, I had to paint his outhouse, not the twins' outhouse in the last episode, so I just finished up that. Now he wants me to install lighting into the town so he can probably tax them like he just taxed me. Uh, sounds like a good idea. I get free light bulbs to do it. So, uh, yeah, we got to add one to every stall, I believe it said. All right, so to make light bulbs, I just need to go find some junk. If I remember correctly, there's lots of junk over in this. Yeah, I can actually see it right now. Uh, there's lots of junk over here, so we'll just go grab some. Oh, crap. I need three more light bulbs, and uh, this guy won't actually sell me light bulbs. That's right. So would you like some moonshine, sir? And some more moonshine. Dude, I'm not even selling moonshine anymore. It's just so useful for doing this. And voila. I have made friends with him now that he's wasted. $204 for three light bulbs. Okay, so we're in lighting mode. How do I do this? I didn't I didn't mean to paint the stall. I did not mean... Okay, uh, maybe we should put this away. <laughs> I can't put it away now. Okay, so I have to get out of this mode. Go back into the mode. And yeah, we should see everywhere we need these. I can simply just place them now. So this will be easy. And the added benefit is it should be a lot brighter at nighttime to see in town. I also feel like this is a pretty big quest. So this could be a big payment. I hope it is. What do I get for that? 400? That's it? Damn it. And that's the final quest with the mayor, I think. Which is shocking considering he sells the engagement ring. Uh, that I already sold. 10,000 for the engagement ring, by the way. So maybe I shouldn't have sold that. Because you can get married in this game. I do know that. I just don't know to who. I'm assuming we have to, you know, go dating and whatnot and work on our relationships a bit before that. So yeah, I guess we're done with the mayor. We are working our way through the quests. They're just very slow. Oh! No! No! What did I do? I was just trying to pick up the poo-poo! What the frig one smack? Oh. <laughs> the poo! I just wanted the poo poo! Why? I didn't know you could even do that! I mean, I shouldn't be mad. At least I'm getting a crap load of bacon now, but god damn it, it's just, it was a mother! It just had a baby yesterday, I think. And now I just slaughtered it after it put a little baby. Now we got a little orphan baby over there all depressed. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have some bacon. Look away, Fluffy. Look away. I, this won't happen to you unless you get in front of my pitchfork, evidently. All right. There we go. We got some meat. I mean, at least I can sell it. I guess I'm going to have to get you a new girlfriend, Fluffy. I mean, I did I did get you two. Is there still... Yeah, we still have one out here. I think it's a female, at least. And yes, indeed it is. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Obviously, I did want to sell my pig, though. Not sell the meat of the pig, because I'm assuming the pig was worth a lot more. So that's a bit of a bummer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. 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 Hold on. Time out. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Oh, good thing I brought this. Good thing I brought this. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right. This is the first time I've brought my gun in so long. Anyways, I'm just trying to wait out the winter. I've been exploring. Didn't expect to stumble upon a bear. But yeah, that's what happened. So we'll just go on site. Um, I could bring it home and get the skins, but I'm not too worried about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just talking to people. Is this how we get a wife? There's no other like you and Zalesi. Okay, Casimir, I got... You got a bit carried away. Well, we're starting out somewhere, aren't we? Helen. And of course, Helen isn't uh, a huge fan of moonshine. So if we do want to up her attitude towards me, we're going to have to get like things like flowers and sandwiches and whatnot. All right, well, at least we saw our first little glimpse at what a relationship could be. Well, 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 welcome back, Spring. Uh, we got 96 things rotting and animals will die soon. Probably sooner if I start swinging my pitchfork again. Who's going to die? That's kind of sad. I've played so long. My animals are dying of old age. Fluffy, are you okay? Fluffy, you'll you'll never die, buddy. All right, but exciting news. A new season's here, and I've already prepared ahead of time. I've spent my money because I have a good plan on how we're going to earn a crap load of money. A lot of you guys have been suggesting I start off with this, and I'm going to listen to you guys as much as I want to get into the farming equipment and whatnot. We're kind of getting into that, but not really. So I have purchased the small engine and the cutter. Long story short, the engine powers all these old school machinery, so I need this for pretty much everything. So that was a no-brainer getting that. This will allow me to make fodder. Now there's two uses for that. Obviously, I have animals and fodder is a pain in the butt to deal with. I have to go all the way to SAF to buy it. At least that's the area that I've found it. 
and I can only hold a little bit because it's extremely heavy. So this will help me in feeding my animals, which I want to get into more animals now because we've unlocked the horse. But it's also still supposed to be insanely great for profit as well. Fodder is worth a lot. All you need, I think, is grass. And we have the machinery to refine that into fodder. Assuming I know what I'm doing here, and I don't really. So we'll find out if I can actually do this. Sorry, engine. Oh, also, since uh, I killed my pig, I have been depressed as hell. Casimir is not doing anything. He won't walk fast. He won't carry much. He's just very depressed. It's been like two days of this. It's very annoying. Cheer up. It's springtime. It's time to do things again besides just huddle in our house. Okay, so let's figure out how to do this first. You got to attach this somehow, I believe. Yeah, connect engine. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Okay, so that was easy. Next up, I have been collecting fuel, so we got to add that. Okay, fuel is in. Now, how do I do this? Drag here to turn into fodder. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Oh, my grass. I was storing it. Freaking grass rots in winter as well. That sucks. I, I have been slowly drying and rotting grass and prep for this. And now it's just a pile of nothing. So I don't know if it's grass or dry grass that we need for fodder. I actually don't even really know what fodder is. I, I, I know it's food. But let's see if it's as simple as just using grass maybe. And yes, we can drag here to turn in the fodder. And now more. Turn on. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm making fodder. I've already made two. Holy crap. So I can probably only have this on for a short time. So hold on. Let's turn this off. This might be why this is so freaking profitable. If it does it so quickly, that's insane. So let's see how much grass we can store in this thing. I have lots of grass, as you can see, and this stuff grows. So this is why I wanted this. It's easy. I don't think fodder is going to make us rich, but it's definitely going to be an easy resource to get money very, very quickly, assuming I have gas. That's all I really need for this. I need gas to power the system, obviously. All right, the crazy thing is I thought this would be limited to 32 stacks because that was the max I could put in. But I just tried to put more in one, and as you can see, how much, how much can you put in this? Is it just unlimited? Like, it's so easy to do this. I am just getting it so quickly, and yeah. Okay, so I can put 400 in. Wait, it goes past 100. Wait, why did it go to... I must have did perfect 100, and I just assumed it was 100. Uh, this guy's very hungry. I forgot. All my crap rotted. I don't think... Did I put some eggs in here? Was I smart enough to do that? Yes, I have my eggs in here, but they're not boiled, so we'll worry about that later. I also stored some potatoes in here so we can start off our potato farm as quickly as possible. Right now, I gotta boil some eggs, though, because I don't have any food. The great thing about this, too, is I've already kind of prepped this because we got our repair station. I did collect some sticks throughout the winter in the middle of the forest, so I can simply just repair here, and it's uh, all it takes is sticks as well. Perfect. So this is going to be super easy. I'm curious how much this is going to be worth, though. Fodder better be worth quite a bit. Okay, I think this is a good test. I think we got around 250 in here. It really didn't take me any time at all. It's super easy. So actually making it is not going to be hard. I'm curious to see how much I can transfer at a time. And I'm curious how much this is going to make as well. It might take a lot of grass to do this. Now, the great thing about this system is I can make it even better by buying the mower. The mower can be attached to either a horse or a tractor. And, well, it will do what the scythe does, but much faster. I believe I can maybe even store it in the mower itself so I can hold a lot more. Because if that's the case, that's fantastic. I mean, obviously, it needs a lot of grass to make this fodder. And, yeah, we'll go check how much this costs to uh, sell because that's what I'm most curious about. But, yeah, this is super easy to refine. I basically just need to uh, worry about fuel now. That's something I haven't figured out how to make. And I've just been collecting it this whole playthrough. So that's the one thing that we have to uh, consider with this. But yeah, now we don't have to worry about fodder anymore, which is fantastic. Uh, this stuff is pretty heavy, if I remember correctly. So yeah, uh, that's the one issue with it. If I can buy a trailer and store it in that, that would be fantastic. But obviously, a lot of this is going to be simply used as food for my animals now. So now I don't need to go buy this stuff. All right, and it didn't take long to refine all that. I did about 300. I was collecting it as it was doing it. Um, Turn off. We want to make sure we're doing that. I wish it told me how much fuel it has left. It might say somehow. I'm still learning how these things work, obviously. All right, so we'll worry about that later. What I'm curious about is how much is this stuff worth? So... 
We're going to be a bit over in comfort. I just got to go store some of this stuff. All right, I'm assuming this guy is the best guy to sell fodder to, being that he's the animal dude and he's the one I buy it from. So we'll see how much is this worth. 150. You know what? That doesn't sound like a lot of money, but that was maybe two to three minutes of work. So imagine doing that on top of like moonshining and then obviously growing crops as well, stuff like that. I think we are well on our way to earning a crap load of money in this game and finally setting up a legit farm. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this game so much because I really haven't done much farming. We're, ne we're near there though. We got the engine. Now we just got to buy the machinery. We've unlocked the horse. That could obviously be our first machinery. And yeah, I'm super excited for this new season in the game because we're going to be doing a lot on this farm this year. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god.